Welcome to mission two of the Stone Sky campaign mat for the Apache in DCS. an Apache, I feel sorry for his right eye. Mine has been living on its own for over a year now. Flying officer overheard, as soon as you are able to read two books at once, I promise to consider moving you to the rear seat. Promise to think, promise to think, my sir. Welcome to mission number two of the MAD campaign for DCS. Uh, the MAD campaign from Stone Sky. As I have skipped the uh, cold start procedure, as uh, I have already explained in mission one, we want to uh, start directly here at the mission, and I'm the wingman of the Saber 3 1 and flying here in formation with the AI, which is always difficult to fly uh, formation with AI. So now I have to um, leave the formation and uh, the lead will uh, land there at a uh, FARP and after um, his uh, training landing uh, I have to do the same. So I recommend to choose a spot where you can um, easily 
observe uh, the lead helicopter uh, and then um, in near of the FARP then it's um, easy to to see what he's doing and where he needs to land so you know where you have to land later. After the lead uh, starts again, uh, it is your turn to land there. Uh, take care. You have a heavy loadout, so uh, take your time. Uh, do it nice and gentle, and then it should be possible. After the 
uh, start, you have to join the formation. So you have to search uh, for the lead helicopter, which is orbiting uh, the area. So uh, this is important. Otherwise, you uh, the mission, I think, will not continue. And you need to uh, join back the formation. you guys. Now we have an amphibious ship, a lead helicopter carrier. To following Starship's orders, our task is to reach the indicated sector as soon as possible. So hold formation. We'll be flying at maximum speed. Roger that, too. Now you have to set your UHF radio to the regarding frequency. You can take this information out of the knee board and then you configure your radio. Now you have to add a waypoint to your TSD. 
um, you have to be able to add waypoints um, as a pilot during flight. Um, this is in many situations needful, so you should train this um, that you are able to do this. While setting up uh, the waypoint to your uh, system, you should not lose your um, flight lead uh, helicopter uh, out of sight. the flight page you can set a uh, minimum and maximum height uh, which uh, will then result in a warning uh, from the system if you are flying too low or too high which can be very helpful of course if you need to um, fly low for example Even though I'm at 100 feet and 110 uh, speed, 114 now at the moment, uh, it is not enough. <laughs> so <laughs> I think maybe a trigger is wrong, or I do not know. Anyway, uh, it is very hard to uh, join the formation at uh, this heavy loadout. What the hell pain is doing? Why is flying so low? The allowed altitude is up to 500. That's a skill, Salah. If it wasn't for his skill, he would not have survived in Iraq or Afghanistan. That's like a nice knockout punch. It will lose strength and precision without enough training. That's very unsafe. Salah, the Almighty himself is leading us, plus some of my humble experience.
After a long ride, it seems I have really lost my lead uh, helicopter and I'm trying to continue the mission anyway, of course. Again, you have to tune frequencies, uh, this time the FM uh, radio, do it exactly as the same way as you did the UHF radio. And again, you have to set a new waypoint in your DSD page. Um, but the good thing in this campaign is the coordinates are displayed on screen too. As uh, in this area is very much going on, I declutter now my uh, my TSD uh, pages so that I have less information inside to get a better overview.
on station and ready to support as required. Well, I'm 18 clicks uh, away from the waypoint and the enemy is uh, neutralized now. Whatever the enemy was and whatever was going on there, I was too far away. Uh, maybe I uh, was flying in the wrong direction, which is, uh, I think, the, the possible uh, thing. But anyway, um, now it's the a uh, RTB signal. Uh, was a very very long flying uh, in the end for nothing um, I think I have made a mistake uh, with a waypoint um, entering uh, but this was very unsatisfying of course At this time, I must say I don't think the the Apache crew from any from any country, whatever, is talking about a monocle. I think they all call it i hats. I'm <laughs> of course I do not know, but I cannot believe that the CPG is telling the pilot I'm taking off out my, uh, off my monocle during a mission, even if it is RTB. I do not know. <laughs> But this is strange. Of course, I wanted to see what was the target area, so I flew there. And it seems here was the action going on. Um, whatever kind of enemy mm, there might have been on this oil platforms or gas platforms or whatever. Anyway, RTB. After a very long flight uh, back home, it uh, is already dark, so I use uh, the FLIR function from uh, the iHats, uh, the NVS mode. Uh, you can uh, set it to two modes uh, fixed, or um, then, then it's looking uh, straight uh, on the helicopter, or you're using the other mode uh, so that you uh, are able to have night vision in this direction you are looking at the moment.
So, here we are, and it's a shut off. Performing post landing checklist. Okay, here my feedback for the mission. Um, time effort was nearly two hours, I think. And uh, realism, hard to tell in this uh, kind of mission. Uh, um, I think it was not realistic. Um, yeah, it's, it's my, my personal opinion. And um, I, I did not enjoy the mission at all. It was a very long flying uh, without um, without any sense in in that case uh, the AI was flying super fast uh, you have very heavy loadout with the fuel tanks uh, you are um, in my case I was at 100 feet and even this was not low enough later the AI was flying higher uh, so all of this uh, kind of things, then the, the problem with the waypoint, of course, was my mistake. So I, I missed uh, there, uh, the, I missed what was going on at the, at uh, the oil platforms or gas platforms. But anyway, it was, it felt strange for me. Um, and this is, of course, my personal uh, feeling and my, my personal opinion. But yeah, that's why I'm doing this video, right? And um, still it is uh, super hard for me to identify with the pilot, with the CPG. Yeah, it is it's not, not feeling very comfor comfortable, comfortable at um, this campaign till now so um, let me know if you if you want if if this is uh, at least helpful for you uh, or if you want to see more uh, then I will continue of course this, um, this series here for this uh, campaign um, put it in the comments it would be uh, helpful for me to understand what you want to see